Welcome in Deutschland! My name is Brent van Assertis Clark and I'm founder of Blockart, the local art portfolio where we represent 40 Latin American artists, which 30 are from Peru. Before bringing you about a very special episode all about Germany, let's first think outside the block. <music> Our editor-in-chief Helena Herzberg, she is right now in Berlin, Germany, so that's why the entire episode will be about the Berlin Biennale, Gropius Bau, and also studio visit to one of the Peruvians living over there, Helga Elsner. So, are you ready for this? Super hot fresh news, well, the Berlin Biennale just happened and lasts up until November 1st. Yes, just until a few days ago. E Gropius Bau is one of the most important European venues that is part of this Biennale. And our editor-in-chief Helena Herzberg, she was over there, yes, just arrived at the precise moment. And, gotta tell you something, there was a Peruvian, Sandra Gamarra, Peruvian artist who opened the exhibition in this venue. Let's check out more. Since September 2019, the 11th Berlin Biennale has been unfolding as a process through a series of lived experiences with experience one, two, and three. In a fourth step conceived as an epilogue, the Biennale brings these experiences together with an artistic participation from around the world. Exploring the many cracks that we carry, the fissures that keep us apart, and those that bring us together, many of the invited artists and participants in the Biennale have been exploring and practicing this, each in their own artistic terms, in their own contexts and temporalities. The pandemic exposed the cruelty of everyday life and the inequality endured by the vast majority of people imprisoned by patriarchal capitalism. As we write, many of those whose works are present in the exhibition are in the South and continue living under lockdown in places where professional healthcare is a luxury, safeguarding only the privileged. Titled The Crack Begins Within, the Biennale compromises the overlapping experiences of the artworks gathered in the exhibition, breathing together, touching and moving one another. It is a testament to the powerful collective stories they tell, the work they do and the things they shatter. The epilogue is an exercise of mutual recognition, an acknowledgement of the cracks in the system, of those broken by it and their struggles. As the carceral politics of compartmentalization are cracked open, art will not disappear into nothingness, but will flow into everything. The crack begins within is a nod to the solidarity and vulnerability of the healers and carers, the fighters, their fractures and their power. With its acclaimed contemporary and archaeological exhibitions, the Gropius Bau has consistently opened up new realms of experience and established its international reputation. In view of its eventful history and the variety of institutions that have been active here over the years, the Gropius Bau is organized as an open framework for addressing a broad variety of artistic modes of thinking and their social implications. Through active collaboration with contemporary artists involved in the program, creative processes are revealed, new perspectives opened up and the possibilities of the institution reflected. A text by Florencia Porta Carrero, artist Sandra Camara Hishiki, born in 1972 in Lima, Peru, now living and working in Lima, Peru. Replicating the exhibition logic of a European anthropological museum, the works from the series, The Museum of Ostracism, produced in 2018, display the anthropomorphic ceramics of pre-Inca and Inca origin that seem to be hovering mysteriously in the air. Arranged behind glass in neat rows, these artifacts are taken from various museums in Spain, having arrived in these collections through both donation and plundering. Walking around the showcases, the objects reveal themselves to be two-dimensional trompe l'oeil paintings that have been inscribed on the back with words used to pejoratively designate the indigenous peoples of South America, a genealogy of prejudices extending from the conquest to the present day. Four dusky atmospheric paintings are shown in dialogue with this installation. These new works, produced in 2020 from the ongoing series Cryptomnesia, portray the scientific exhibition of non-Western objects at different European anthropological museums. Empathetically shadowy, Gamara Hishiki's work are hem hermetic 
and mood, rarefied objects preserved but kept in the dark. In an antagonistic gesture, the artist frames the stillness of these museum views with the violence that surrounds us. At the corners of each paintings are miniature scenes taken from press photographs of police arrest, detention centers, human trafficking, conflicts over natural resources, and other recent episodes in the relationship between the global north and the south. Highlighting the persistent European impulse to objectify and classify others, her composition adds a new dimension to the cryptomnesia, the term for a memory dysfunction that leads a person to repeat an action while thinking that they are doing something new. In this constellation of works, Gamara Heshiki reveals the geopolitics of a world still shaped by the colonial matrix. Peruvians in Deutschland. Well, I love this and I don't believe in coincidences. So this was part of Destiny that Helena just arrived to experience this and one of the exhibitions that she was able to join, well, she found Sandra Gamarra's artwork. Um, Talking about Peruvian artists over there, let's check out and discover more about Helga Elsner. Yes, I consider her as an artivist. So let's see more. Hola, I'm Helga Elsner Torres. I'm a Peruvian artist and I live and work in Berlin. Since five years, I work here and um, I work on different projects, mainly on painting and drawing. Um, the last years I have experimented more on different disciplines in art. Uh, making art with different groups and communities and also had the chance of uh, directing a film. Um, the work I do are based in identity and lately in migration since that affects my life uh, and also in the colonial thinking. Particular lately I have been more interested in the relationship between Germany and Peru. Uh, I think as myself as a woman, a Peruvian, a person of color, an artist. The layers of my identity keeps changing and keeps broadening since uh, I am here as a migrant in Berlin and also since uh, my mother came from the upper part of the Amazon and my father from the Peruvian and then with some German background um, and that affects my work uh, because it's very biographical. Now I am working in a series of drawing, uh, who is um, from documents and family albums and is also a personal identity research in uh, some German migration in, in the beginning of the 900th century and the origins until nowadays seeing myself uh, as a Peruvian living here in Germany. So thank you Blog Art uh, for the amazing interview and the um, studio visit even through quarantine because we uh, begin the second lockdown here and now everything is closed. So I wish you all um, stay safe and stay healthy and wear a mask. Ciao. Helga for participating in this episode and also receiving our editor-in-chief over there in Berlin. 
I'm just gonna tell you, I'm looking forward to the upcoming articles because Helena is working in this regularly and will surprise us with more content about Lucas Ruckner, Peruvian artist that I met him when I started the portfolio just almost six years ago. So I'm just thrilled about how he's doing over there. He keeps the playful and joy in his core. Well, guys, that was everything for this week's episode. I really hope that you enjoy it. Don't forget to spread the art, reshare this video, drop your comments, let me know where you're watching this from, from any part of the world. I love it then. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming episodes. And what else? Well, keep safe, be a skeptic, question everything, and think outside the block.